Hello friends, let us now learn about some important points about common bile duct strictures or biliary strictures. So, the main causes or etiology of common bile duct strictures, if you see, this is most commonly seen in post-operative patients. About 80% of them uh, occurs due to post-operative causes, especially it occurs due to after cholecystectomy, that is laparoscopic cholecystectomy more commonly occurs, sorry, common bile duct strictures more commonly occurs in laparoscopic cholecystectomy followed by open cholecystectomy. It can also occur in biliary surgery or gastrectomy or in liver surgery or duodenal and pancreatic surgeries also there is an increased chances of common bile duct stricture for formation. Then it occurs in inflammatory causes like primary sclerosing, cholangitis and parasitic infection. It occurs in malignancy, mostly cholangiocarcinoma and in traumatic conditions. So if you see first the classification, this classification is called as Bismuth classification of biliary stricture. So, in the Bismuth classification of biliary stricture type 1 or grade 1, we have the stricture is seen almost, the stricture is mainly in the lower part of common bile duct and the proximal part of the bile duct will be more than 2 centimeters. And here the stricture is present. The stricture is present in the lower common bile duct and the proximal part or proximal stump should have a length more than 2 centimeters. This is type 1. In type 2, here the stricture is present in the middle common bile duct, mid common bile duct and the proximal stump is less than 2 centimeters. So this is Type 2 of bismuth classification of biliary stricture. In type 3, the stricture is present in hilar area. This is hilar area that is at the confluence of right he hepatic duct, left hepatic duct and common hepatic duct. There is biliary stricture in type 3. In type 4, the biliary structure is present either in right or left hepatic duct. Then in type 5, the biliary structure is mainly intrahepatic. Biliary structure stricture is seen in type 5 of bismuth classification. Then, if you see the clinical features, see because of some stricture at any part in the biliary tree, the bile which is produced from the liver cannot reach the duodenum. So the bile gets accumulated in the liver and it results the bile mainly contains bilirubin. So bilirubin excretion occurs through this bile uh, but because of the stricture the bilirubin is not excreted. So this results in obstructive jaundice and the patient presents with pain abdomen and also future and also there is stasis of bile is seen in the liver and this stasis will result in infection causing ascending cholangitis can occur so how are you going to treat first how are you going to diagnose this biliary strictures you can do ultrasound abdomen but the best is to either do mrcp or ERCP to localize the stricture. In order to localize the stricture, we should do either MRCP or, BR, or, or ERCP. That, uh, that is endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreaticography or magnetic resonance cholangiopancreaticography should be done to localize the stricture. Now, how are you going to treat it? Once you have localized the stricture, you can enter through endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreaticography and then you will enter the 
pancreaticko biliary duct and from there you will enter the common bile duct and here you will enter the site where the stricture is present and you will do stenting at that site with the help of the endoscope so this is the treatment is first you can do endoscopic retrograde pancreaticography stenting can be done or you can just remove this part of the bile duct with biliary tree and you can do holy doco jejun duodenostomy you can either anastomose it with duodenum or you can do anastomosis with jejunum that is you can do holy doco jejunostomy can be done or you can do raw and by ru and by hepatico jejunostomy can also be done so these are the different treatment options for a uh, biliary stricture thank you for watching my lecture bile duct stricture thank you